Hi, my name is Daniel Madamba. I'm an R&D engineer here at Confluent Medical Technologies, and today we'll be talking about nickel ion release testing. So nickel ion release testing is a test that we perform here to ensure that when implants are placed into the body, uh, for a long period of time, the effects of the potentially toxic nickel ions leaching into the body are negligible. So we typically do these tests on finished devices that have gone through all their processing steps, uh, sterilization, uh, loading into a delivery system, etc. And what we'll do is we'll take these finished implants and load them into vials that are filled with phosphate buffered saline at 37 degrees Celsius and in order to simulate physiological conditions. And the implants will then be immersed in this solution for at least 60 days. Um, at specific time points during these 60 days, we'll analyze the solutions using these, or this uh, inductively coupled mass spectrometer, or ICPMS. And we'll do that in order to make sure that the nickel that's released into the solution is of acceptable levels. Uh, the typical behavior of nitinol that runs through this test is that there's an initial spike on the first day of nickel ion release, and then it gradually decreases over time. Um, to negligible levels. Uh, we typically do this test in support of FDA submissions, PMA, IDE, especially when the typical ASTM F2129 corrosion results are inconclusive. So that's just a quick rundown of nickel ion release testing here at Confluent Medical Technologies.